what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is on Chelsea coach Frank Lampard and why he could be the best man motivator and player development coach since Jose Mourinho Mark 1. This guy, who's only barely been coaching for a few months, mental surely, right? Well I'm going to speak my case and explain why Frank Lampard is a character, an intelligent football man, can be that figure to rebirth Chelsea into what originally made them great in 2004 with the introduction of Jose Mourinho and I guess the sort of rising of the phoenix of the oil money Chelsea FC. <laughs> Before I do get into any of that please do subscribe to Football Therapy as I upload daily Chelsea Football Club content and if you want to keep up with the content you need to subscribe and click the bell notifications icon and if you want to help Yannick out which I'm sure you do right please do like this video. Right then Chelsea Football Club is indeed a big club and this predates the inclusion of Roman Abramovich. Chelsea won a league title decades before Abramovich ever arrived they were winning FA Cups in the 70s they had a good likeable team in the 90s Chelsea were very very good with Hullet and Viali and all that People forget that in the late 90s, Chelsea were a top four team. They were in the Champions League, but it was only really until Roman Abramovich came along in 2003 4, put the money in, and brought Jose Mourinho in, and they became a superpower that people really took notice, as is the way in modern day media life, etc. etc. Sure, a lot of money made the difference, but also it's really important to know the mentality that was developed that sort of time. Jose Mourinho, Mark 1, came onto the scene, the sharp, intelligent, cocky, good looking little Portuguese fella who had an amazing managerial pedigree already, winning the Champions League with Porto, etc. He hit the scene, but it's what he instilled in the mentality of players. Players like Frank Lampard. That sort of always work incredibly hard, never die, never accept mediocrity. That kind of mentality that was hammered in to the sort of old guard, old school players, that is not just residual, but that is fermented into Frank Lampard's brain. Fast forward into present day, Frank Lampard is now Chelsea Football Club manager. Sure, very little coaching experience underneath his belt, but there's already really positive signs showing that Frank Lampard could really have what it takes to be a good manager. Now people were already saying that at Derby, even though the team had loads of problems, and they didn't have an amazing season, they had a good season, but people in and around Derby were saying very positive things about Lampard. Now then, Super Frankie Lampard as a player, fortunately was afforded the ability to soak up loads of good information from some of the world's best coaches and obviously you know there's not just Jose Mourinho there's people like you know like Ancelotti amazing attacking footballer coach rather great man manager all those things that Frank would have taken in but it's original for me the first Jose Mourinho spell that I think will help Frank Lampard the most in terms of developing his players. Frank Lampard is one of the greatest footballers of all time, certainly one of the greatest midfielders, the highest scoring midfielder, um, superb mentality on the pitch. Now, I think Frank Lampard's the best player to ever play for Chelsea, but there is an argument he didn't have quite the natural talent as some of his midfield peers throughout football that was playing at the same time. But that didn't make Lampard worse. What made Lampard so, so good was his work ethic. Now I make this sort of quick fleeting example of Messi and Ronaldo. I think Messi has a more sort of magical, better natural talent than Ronaldo. But Ronaldo, some people say he's equally as good because his whole life he's been working so, so hard with this Terminator mentality to just build this super footballer that can do everything. In many ways, Frank Lampard was like the midfield version of that. Work ethic got Lamps to where he is today and made him such a great player. And a lot of that he can attribute to playing under Jose Mourinho in the early days, you know, around 2004, 5, 6. Lamps believes in this ethos today more than ever and he will hammer that into his players. And you can already tell from the Chelsea preseason when he was making them train hard and hard. Players like Mason Mount, who've always looked up to Lampard, he's already soaking up this mentality and he can see the success and he knows that's the way to success, so he's walking the same path. It's not just the midfielders at Chelsea, it's all positions and it's not just English players who can relate and maybe watch them their whole life, it's all nationalities, they're all looking to Frank Lampard and they're all walking the path of 
heavy, heavy hard work, dedication, extra training sessions and pushing yourself to the very, very extreme like Jose Mourinho used to make his Chelsea in 2004, 5, 6 when they became this elite titanic guard and this super, super team that no one could beat because they were stronger, faster, fitter than everyone else. And they had that sort of siege mentality and togetherness, which is absolutely present in Chelsea's side. Sure, you can make your players work hard, but that doesn't always work, and that often can create adversity within the locker room. But with Lampard, he's a very, very intelligent, likeable, compassionate man who's got great kind of emotional intelligence. Emotional and social intelligence makes you a good manager. In many ways, Jose Mourinho had that, but he had this sort of vintage version that might not work in present day football. You know, please see his Manchester United career. But at the time, it was perfect. And as football's moved on and developed, so must the coach and his approach to players. And Frank Lampard has that modern day approach that works incredibly well. It comes with an arm around the shoulder, it comes with nurture, but it asserts the mandatory need to work hard like he did to become the very, very best. So Lampus is a winner. He's won trophies throughout his whole career and he soaked up, like I said, loads of information from loads of top class elite coaches throughout his career. But where he is now as a man with an incredibly high IQ and a very good social and emotional intelligence, I think he'd probably relate back most to that first spell under Jose Mourinho which made that Chelsea team so great, the best in England and I think with his development as a player and a man and a manager throughout the years, he'll have the perfect cocktail to make a truly great manager. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think Frank Lampard's absorbed the perfect cocktail of different managers growing up and playing for his footballing career and do you think the time of Jose Mourinho, Mark 1, was going to be most prevalent in his coaching in terms of his mentality of, of work ethic, because obviously it's a very different football in many ways, but as well, he's not going to be like when John Terry got injured, you know, Jose Mourinho would just walk past him and blank him, and John Terry would have to work double hard to get back on the pitch and play through that injury. Lampard would be more compassionate than that, but I think in terms of how he gets into the players' heads and makes them work, He'll have a lot of the old Jose about him. But I want to hear your opinions. What do you think? Do you think Frank Lampard would have benefited most from Jose? More of Ancelotti? Do you think he'll have the edge over his fellow peers in management because of his experiences as a player, soaking up all this wonderful information from the world's best? Do you think Frank Lampard can make Chelsea great again? Get down in the comments and let me know your thoughts and opinions. Remember to like the video if you've enjoyed the content. Remember to subscribe if you are new and you can follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Twitter and Instagram at Football Yannick. You lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.